Okay, as you saw guys, our frame is different. So that's that's because we need to upload it to Instagram. So for that, we are gonna need a frame something like this, which is 2160 and 3840 of our height. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide it vertically into three equal height sections, which is 1280. I'm gonna build up our frame from here. Now we are going to go to the Premiere Pro, okay, and create a sequence. Okay, go to the sequence, go to the settings, and select DSLR. Go to the frame size, set it as 2160, and go to the height of footage and set it as 1280. Don't worry, we are going to change this later. I'm going to leave it as it is. Okay, I'm going to name it as main comp because it is our main comp version. So click OK and we are going to import our first footage. It will give you this error. So click the keep existing settings. Okay, I'm going to unlink my audio. Let me stretch this up. from here maybe okay you can get the razor tool by clicking C on your keyboard if you're on Windows so I'm gonna just stretch a little bit go to 12 seconds I'm gonna cut it from here okay select V and select and delete that okay now I'm gonna go to the effect controls because we chose a different framing size, we need to scale up or down our footage according to the frame to fit in. I'm gonna set it as 60. Okay, it works for me. It can be very for you. Okay. Now I'm gonna import my second footage to timeline. Oops, there's audio. So let me first unlink that audio. click go to unlink and delete the audio okay I'm gonna just adjust speed and duration of this footage I'm gonna slow it down to 9% type 90 click OK it's a little bit more than 12 seconds, so I'm gonna cut it from here. I'll just stretch my timeline. Let me delete that. Okay, now we have two footages imported to our timeline. Okay, I'm gonna import my third footage. Thank God it doesn't have any audio. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, I'm gonna cut it from here. Okay, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna drag it up the beginning and I'm gonna hide these upper footages to see the bottom one okay I'm gonna I think I'm gonna cut it from here okay just gonna delete the excess part okay now we have three footages imported to our timeline go to the effect control now as before adjust the scale of our footage I'm gonna set it to 60% now watch what I'm gonna do closely okay I'm gonna go to the main composition sequence and go to sequence settings I'm gonna go to the horizontal value and set it as 3840 as I explained to you earlier this is going to change our frame in size to horizontal okay idiot it's vertical As you can see now our frame is different it's horizontal uh, again you can't just see the old footages because they are obviously on top of each other okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna un unhide this I'm gonna select my first footage and I'm gonna go to the effect control and set the horizontal value as 640 okay it's gonna take our first footage to upper frame okay now i'm gonna select 
last footage and i'm gonna again go to the horizontal value i'm gonna set it as 3200 okay as you can see now our footages are entirely perfectly fit onto the frame obviously i'm gonna scale up our middle footage to fit onto the frame okay looking good now the sound effects are missing so now i'm gonna add some sound effects This one is the ambient sound of a forest, so let me play it through and find some place to cut. Okay, I'm, the, I'm just gonna cut it from here. Now I'm gonna add some ambient sound of a bird, because it's a forest, so it'll help viewer to feel more natural, because this is a scenery of a forest. So let me go through this and select sound part. I think I'm gonna cut it from here. Okay, delete that. Again, click C on your keyboard, get the cutting tool and delete that. Okay, there's a waterfall. So I'm just gonna add sound of a waterfall to this also. I'm just gonna cut it from here. We added three different sound effects, so they are in different levels. So I'm gonna go to the audio workspace and adjust their levels so it'll fit perfectly to this reel. I'm gonna select this S thing so it'll only play the selected sound effect. I'm gonna bring it down. Okay, I think it's good. I'm gonna select another sound effect to solo play. Okay, I'm gonna go there. I think this sound is too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it down. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna select my first one which is uh, ambient sound of a forest I think I might have to bring it up I can't hear clearly so let me bring it up a little bit okay that's enough I think okay I think it's enough for me what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go hop over to color workspace and tweak some colors and show you guys the final result one more time. If you think this video helps you in some way, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Please consider. Uh, what is this?